to talk today about things that shake, and I hope my words aren't too opaque. One degree of freedom moving to and fro, just how it moves, we'd like to know. We can represent all kinds of things by a single mass between ideal springs. Each spring's connected to a wall, so the outer ends don't move at all. Let the mass be M, spring constant K, but don't let friction get in the way. Use Newton's laws, and what have we got? F equals M psi double dot. F is also minus K psi times 2, so now we have a diff EQ. And we can write down the general solution for the simple harmonic time evolution. Let omega be root 2 k over m. Here's the answer. Won't repeat again. Psi is a cosine omega t plus a phase. Call it phi. So it's all very simple. And you can see for any initial psi and velocity, we can find the constants a and phi and the equations exact for all time t. Now look again at the diff EQ. It's homogeneous and linear too. So if you add two solutions together, there sums a solution that's even better. We call it the principle of superposition. You can use it to fit the boundary condition. In fact, there is no contradiction if we use it in a system that does have friction. In a real system, nothing's perfect, of course. We have to include the frictional force. Suppose it goes as the velocity, right? Minus m gamma d psi dt. Now, if the damping is not too strong, our old solution is close but wrong. See, it starts out with some amplitude a, but after a while, it just dies away. Amplitude decays exponentially, as you can see experimentally, as e to the minus half gamma t. Now it's almost right, but you see, the frequency is lower as we can compute. Omega is now given by the square root of the quantity k over m times 2, minus quarter gamma squared, and now we're through. So now we have the complete solution for an oscillator's time evolution. And when there's damping, as everyone knows, the amplitude decays and the frequency slows. If we have two solutions, no matter how it shows, you know we can always superpose. And since you all find physics such fun, the problems will be 18 and 21. Class dismissed.